Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this latest Scan Tool Network video. In this video we're going to do a very short demonstration of the Maxicom MK80A kit uh, working on an Audi vehicle. We're in an Audi Q5 here. But the kit itself, the MK808, is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video. I'll also put a link to the latest blog post for this particular tool which gives all of the latest uh, information, pictures, reviews, videos, hints, tips and guides. Um, so that's that. Now the issue we have with the Audi is that we've got the ABS light there, we've got the traction control light there. So we're gonna, we've got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port and I'll show you what, um, what warning lights, or sorry, what fault codes we've been getting. So if we click into diagnostics, click into Audi, And we can go straight to system selection. Control unit, and we're looking for the braking system. Oh, there we go, brakes, oh, that should be the one. And we go trouble codes. So it's giving us two trouble codes here, 00290, left rear ABS wheel speed sensor. And there's another fault code there, but that is relating to, well that's popped up because of that one there. We ran a, a live data test on the wheel speed sensors and it, the rear left was coming back with no values whatsoever. So we know there's a problem with that ABS sensor. So what we did is we put a new ABS sensor in. We still got the warning lights, still got the trouble codes, but what we can do now is click on clear trouble codes and attempt to get rid of the warning lights. Uh, so we'll click uh, ignition on and off, don't need to worry about that, we'll just carry on regardless. Establishing, right, no fault codes detected, so it's cleared the fault codes, it's telling us there's now no fault codes, the warning lights are still there. What you need to do with these kits though and these cars, you need to back out of the ABS system on the tool itself. Once you're out of the ABS system, it'll turn the lights off, so well, it should in any case. Let's see what happens when we start heading back out. There we go, the lights have gone out, that's because the parking brake's on. Um, but it's a fantastic tool in fact. Um, covers all of the systems in all vehicles. Um, not only does it cover all the systems, the like engines, ABS, airbags, transmissions, parking sensor, suspensions, you know, it does lots and lots of service functions as well. So brake bleeding, DPF, there's a lot, a lot of functions on this tool. But anyway, it's just a really short video to show you the tool resetting the ABS and traction warning lights. Um, it's available as I say at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com I will put a link to this kit in the description below the video and as I say also uh, a link to the latest blog post which gives all of the latest information on the tool. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.